What's up guys, welcome to another <coughs> We are back with another video We are here playing Moshi Kitchen Part 2 Remember we played the first one Um, um, um Moshi Kitchen Part 2, uh, hold up Uh, yeah I, I'm a sack pocket, I, I'ma kill you Everybody know I see you down On my rear view uh, it's that Mo Shine Kitchen Part 2, you gonna know what I'm about to do uh, I'm in the light, about to shine bright If you know this, you know I sippin' on Sprite That kind of lights, gotta do it for the flight Then you saying I gotta do it for my dang on right Motion Kitchen Part 2, you know what we do I'm with the motherfucking crew and we rapping for the face Now you know I gotta spray if you say this It gon' come home late, uh, yeah You don't know what I'm about to say, it's on my day I'ma do this deal with the thing on the mother lay Uh, what you know about me? Sock pocket, yeah, you know that's a steam Let's do this, let's do this, bro Whoa Flashlight Hey, man Keep flipping off. Okay. Oh, she kitchen. Come on, bro. tell you what to do.
Come on, come on. Pushy! Yo, Pushy needs your help. Pushy won't become present. Pushy must stop Mushy. Mushy torture Pushy worse than Steve. Pushy is Steve's wife. Steve put wife inside of Pushy. Pull out, please pull out now. Nice. <laughs> To Blushy. Blushy wants to bang bang on Mushy. Then Blushy <laughs> forgive Steve and get remade. Mary, get Mushy. <laughs> Mushi is free. Mushi didn't follow. Oh, look. You gotta bring Mushi in here. Mushi! Mm. 
He ain't see me. Why he walking? Like He's still doing a hot light bling. Hot light rain. Yeah, they be one thing. Wait, stop. Just stop. Hold up. Moshi. Okay. Okay, fight. Fight. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> Beat it. Beat it. Lost. Todd failed his mission. Mushi killed Pushi during their epic battle for the ages, causing the US government and the FBI to retaliate and nuke the entirety of Mushi's kitchen. Todd was sadly killed in the blast. Rip Todd. 1990 to 2023. Alright, yeah, I think that's good. Use that. I walk alone in Moshi's footsteps. I'm gonna kill everybody. Yeah. What the <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. What the? Oh, no. <clears throat> See, I lost my voice, so that's the reason why I'm not talking that much, but... I'm about to get it cracking. Start, start a new game. Let's see, Piggy. Well, I feel like I'm playing Roblox. When I think about Piggy. Three lives left. Okay. Okay, give me it. Wait a minute. Oh, E. Push E. I see, I see. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. I feel like we're playing Granny. Get 
ain't letting me get out. Hold up. I'm stuck. I'm pushing E. They really not letting me get out. He see me, he see me. Okay. Piggy don't know where I'm at. Piggy, Piggy. <laughs> Damn, I wish I didn't lose my voice. Piggy. Okay, we in here. I don't know where Piggy is though. <clears throat> Piggy! A flashlight. I can't see Jack, bro. What a, what a flashlight said, bro. Okay. So you can't see. I really can't see, bro. Okay. We don't know where Piggy is. Yeah. 
Somebody playing the piano need to shut the sh up, bro. So, uh, what did Piggy Piggy do it? Piggy! So what Piggy do it? We don't know where he went. Dang it. Supposed to put the cup in the mug. I mean, the, the plate in the mug, bro. This is we about to end this mug, bro. This I don't know what to do. Find the phone. Okay. You gotta find the phone. Oh, are you alright? That's an ugly house, bro. I don't need to use the bathroom now. Okay. 
The man in the attic. Okay, get the phone. Check the phone. Hey, brother. I just wanted to let you know that we are arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time. It was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's um, behavior. But you know how kids are in their imagination. She was probably very she was probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. Oh, brother, don't worry about it. It's getting late, but I should clean up. Hey, that boy got a plasma. Regular. Whoa, bowler room. I don't need to go in there. Okay. What the dishes said, you take out to clean up. The house already clean. What this man is, OCD? Oh, I see the plates, the plates. Today my brother came to visit and he brought his family along. His wife and his dead, dead seven year old daughter. Her name is Lily and technically she is my niece. It's been a while since I have seen them. So we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really in, uninterested. I try to read fast. I don't blame her. After all, adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I am pretty good uncle. I am a pretty good uncle. Man, fuck that. So I offered to let her watch TV in the players room. You know what I'm saying? Show her all the cartoon channels and left her up there by herself. Every from a boring adult. She was grateful. How you know she was grateful? How? She be acting. You know what I'm saying? She probably say this bone ass ain't nothing to do here. You know what I mean? The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And then when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming, she looked absolutely terrified. It took her about a couple minutes before she could speak. But then she finally said this, There was a man upstairs! Hello. There was a man upstairs, Uncle. Staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened. We all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well. Only to find nothing, you know? Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story. Claimed she was probably just getting tired. <laughs> And soon after they left for the night, I once again completely alone in this dumb, dark, boring ass house. And Lily's story rounds would sound way too familiar. There's a man in my attic. Okay. Time to get some sleep. Time to get some sleep. Time to get some sleep. Hey, time, time, time to get some sleep. Time to get some sleep. Hey, hey, hey. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. Boy, you got some some weird ass dream, boy. Oh Lord! Oh, it sound like an orgasm in my ear, bro. What the fuck is that, bro? Hey, hey. They had noises. They were coming from the attic. Search the attic. Ain't got no flashlight. Hey, man, you up there? You better not be beating your banana. I'm gonna leave this door open. Search the attic. That's a creepy photo. What the? What the noise? This is stupid. There is nothing up here. Shit. Go back to bed. Time to go back to bed then. That's all, folks. <laughs> Let's go back to bed. 
Go back to bed, go to sleep and eat some lag down haze, you know. <laughs> okay. Go to bed. Go to bed. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you'll anxiously search for the cause. But you won't find anything. And your question is all. Once more, what is that that we hear? It's the man in the attic. It's the man in the attic. Real or it's make believe? It's make believe. Hey, it's the man in the attic. It's real. Uh, I think it's false. You know what it be? It's be your man. It's playing tricks on you. Hey, hey, mother. Hey. Fear is subjective, but it's not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. It's the boogeyman. It's the boogeyman. Boogie, boogie, boogie. The boogeyman in the closet. Boogeyman underneath your chair. Underneath the desk. Is he? All right, look. Uh, thank you for playing my specific fear, the man in the attic. Wait. So the goo that that's it? That's it? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-